I love fun comments. And by the way, it's been three days since I've shaved my head, so it's getting a little bit more easier to look at, isn't it? And and now you're getting the point where like, okay, it's growing on me, Nick. I actually you you can pull it off. Not everybody can, but you can, Nick. Uh, okay, okay. I'm I'm starting to accept it, Nick. All right, Nelson Cespedes. I mispronounced the name. Had this to say on a video called "My Mom's Reaction to Not Being Half Mexican," since Mexican is a nationality and not an ethnicity. Nelson said this, quote, your mom said a magic word that you have never pronounced, mestizo, which may help understand what the people of Mexico and countries south of the border are. Mestido, mestizo, which I just mispronounced, mestizo is a person whose parents are one of each, European, mostly Iberian, and Native American. The term is not common in the U.S. since there was a separation between immigrants and locals Though there are exceptions, whereas the mix of Iberians and locals, the rest of America, happened ex extensively. I have an English degree. I've made thousands of videos on YouTube, and I'm still struggling to say <laughs> mestizo. Let's, let me get my practice in on that word on this video by saying it a lot, mestizo. Good point. Yeah, it's not a word I've ever said in a video before. And it's, it's one that is neglected. So I want to understand it better. So basically what we're understanding is, oh, let me get this straight. So my Mexican grandma who was actually born here, she's mestizo. Even though my DNA test results would reflect more that she was around 80% Native American via Mexico and 20% Iberian-ish, she was mestizo. Though again, a higher percentage would have been Native American. Which means my mom is half mestizo and I'm a quarter mestizo or am I just continuing to make a fool of myself and trying to understand this? Uh, you know, and there's always going to be people who criticize me for my lack of knowledge as an American who just doesn't get it. And that's okay because I'm open-minded and I'm totally okay with being wrong and being corrected uh, because that's how I become a more intelligent person and I understand myself better. And I understand our perceptions of race and ethnicity better by asking stupid questions, uh, by learning from people who leave comments. Okay. So I think for the most part, as far as trying to understand how I'm perceived, as far as my ethnic background, uh, we could say that I am of Spanish descent, that I'm a quarter Hispanic, uh, that my grandmother was mistaken. Mestizo, so my mom's half mestizo, so I'm a quarter mestizo. Is that is see is that a thing? If I'm not a quarter Mexican, and instead I'm I'm mis, I'm Spanish, but can, can you be more mestizo than other people? Like, is my mom twice as much mestizo as me? Was my grandmother quadruple? How, can you be more mestizo? Are there varying amounts of mestizo? How how does that work? Because I'm like three quarters European. But then oh, uh, with that, there's an overlap of the mestizo. And so, ah, that's what I should call this. I should call this video, my mestizo American identity crisis. That's the name of the video. I did not plan that before, but that's what I should call this video. Help me sort this out. Can you be different parts mestizo or are you just, is it just a blanket term? You're mestizo. How does that work? I don't know, but my mind is open. Enlighten me.